The user experience of San Diego Comic Con's website has been a terrible mess for a decade. I remember when Comic Con was more focused on comics, games, toys, and panels where you learn something new. During those times, to buy a ticket, all you had to do was go to the front door, buy the ticket, and walk in. There were no lines, no sleeping on the streets waiting to get into Hall H, or even big parties in downtown during that time. And just like those simpler times, the Comic-Con website was just as simple. Fast forward to present day, and Comic-Con's website is just as loud and confusing as the convention itself. When I used to go to Comic-Con, I would always look for two main pieces of information. One, where and how do I buy a ticket? And two, what panels and events will be happening? Now, if you look back to what Comic-Con's homepage looked like in 2008, those two pieces of information are clear and on the top of the page. As you can see, if I'm looking on how to register or get a ticket, it's right here. Register now for Comic-Con. If you want to know more information, they have a whole magazine. And so you can just easily click on this space right here. Simple. Now, if I wanted to learn more details about the convention, I would click on the logo which would lead me to this page. And if I am looking for some piece of information, I would just scan the left nav. Easy. Now let's look at the current 2018 site. Everything is yelling at me. Now if this website is like a volunteer who worked at Comic-Con, I would feel like I'm in a crowded area asking it for information. Excuse me, hello, hello. Where'd I go buy a ticket? To buy a ticket, you gotta click on the button at the top right. What? Where? I'm looking for a ticket. Yeah, that button up there that says member ID. Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, and also, where do I find more information about panels and events and stuff? Oh, just click on the logo, the small logo at the top. What? Why can't I click the big logo that's in this big slider thing? No, those go to other places. You want to click the logo at the top, the, the small one. But why? And even when you get into the actual San Diego Comic-Con website, finding information about the schedule is still confusing because it has two different nav bars. I can imagine someone doing this. Hmm, okay, there's two nav bars. So we'll start with the one at the top. Okay, so I want to know about the schedule. Um, okay, I wanna know, okay, it's probably another about. So let me go to the about page and, uh, okay. Uh, seems like the history of it all. Okay, well, wait a minute. Where's that second nav bar? Okay, let me go back. All right, uh, yeah, I'll be attending this show and, whoa, there's a lot of options here, okay. All right, um, now I already got my badge. Where can I find information about schedule? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there's a lot of information here. Okay, well, exhibit hall. Yeah, that's where to buy stuff, right? Okay, here we go. Programs and guests, and then programming schedule. Oh, mm, okay, schedule, but my schedule? Okay, I, I guess my schedule? Wait. Where's... Okay, 2018 schedule coming soon. You couldn't have told me earlier? To the team at Comic-Con, why hasn't your site been cleaned up since 2008? It's obvious that your website is your lowest priority and you're still gonna sell out tickets every year. But why not fix it and clean it up when the Comic-Con hype is low? The internet was invented to help people find information as quickly as possible. Why not help your attendees enjoy your convention more by cleaning it up? Maybe before the first person lands on Mars? But hey, at least your site is mobile responsive. Holy 